Skeletal System Our skeletal system consists of a set of 206 bones. The shape and posture of our body is maintained by the bones. Some very delicate organs like brain, spinal cord, heart and lungs are protected by the bones. All the muscles of our body need a strong support to work. Bones provide the support to the muscles. Look at the various parts of our skeletal system. Skull, upper jaw, lower jaw, collarbone or clavicle, shoulder blade, breast bone, ribs, arm, forearm, pelvis, bones of hand, thigh, kneecap, leg bone, bones of the foot. Let us discuss about some main parts of our skeletal system. Chest cavity Chest cavity is formed of ribs, vertebrae of the backbone and the breastbone. There are 12 pairs of ribs on either side of the chest cavity. These ribs are joined to the vertebrae of the backbone behind and to the breastbone in front. Besides giving protection to heart and lungs, ribs and breastbone also help in breathing movements. Backbone Our backbone or vertebral column is made up of 33 vertebrae. There is a cavity or neural canal in the vertebral column that protects the spinal cord. It also helps in bending of the body forward and backward. Skull Our skull is also made up of bones. It consists of the head and the face. The head is the upper part of the skull. It is made up of eight bones which form the brain box that protects the brain. The face forms the lower part of the skull and is made up of 14 bones. All these bones are fixed or immovable except the lower jaw bone which is movable. Teeth are present on both the upper and lower jaws. The face has two sockets for the eyes. Girdles There are two girdles in our body. Shoulder girdle and the hip girdle. Bones of the arms are attached to the shoulder girdle and bones of the legs are attached to the hip girdle. The two girdles attach the limbs to the trunk. Let us now discuss about the joints. A joint can be defined as a place where one bone meets another bone. At joints, a special type of connective tissue is present. This is called a ligament. Ligaments help to attach one bone with another bone. Let us perform an activity. Keep your hands in such a way that the palm faces upwards. Now close and open your fist. What other movements can you do? Now try to move your hands at the wrist in various directions. Do you find the same type of movements? No, the movements of opening and closing of fist are different from the movement at the wrist. Do you know how these movements are brought about? The bones of the body, joined with one another at joints, allow movements in certain directions. The movements of a part of the body depend upon the type of joint present in that region. Let us study about different types of joints in our body. There are mainly two types of joints in our body. Immovable joints and movable joints. Immovable joint is present in between the bones of skull. In this type of joints, the movements in between the two bones do not occur as the bones are firmly attached to one another. In movable joints, the movements in between the bones occur. Movable joints are of following types. Ball and socket joint, hinge joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Let us discuss about these joints. Ball and socket joint is found in hands and shoulder girdle and legs and hip girdle of our body. This joint is like a ball fitted into the socket that can move freely within the socket. Hinge joint is found in knees, elbows, fingers and toes. This type of joint allows movements in one direction only. Pivot joint is found in between the skull and the first vertebra of the vertebral column. With this type of joint, we can move our head sideways, upwards and downwards. Gliding joint is found in between the bones of the backbone. It allows 
only a slight movement in between the bones.